Hello and welcome. This is a tutorial on how we can use PyTorch as so a very small introduction of PyTorch here and it is a very popular deep learning package for you to build your artificial neural networks and it is based on the Torch machine learning framework that, they, that was developed at, at Facebook and PyTorch is very popular because it allows you to do your computation on CPUs, GPUs and also TPUs and in this video, um, first of all, I will show you how you can install PyTorch at MSI. And also after that, I want to show you how you can use just a little simple PyTorch um, uh, module to build your first um, neural network model. Here, I put down some very simple commands that you can use to uh, install PyTorch in your home directory. Uh, the first thing we'd like to do is to make sure that you load the Python 3 Mamba module. And after that, you could use you can use Mamba to create a PyTorch environment, which is here. I'm giving it the name PyTorch underscore env. And after that, you could type in or you could give it the names of the packages that you want to install. Here, I have PyTorch Torch version CUDA toolkit 10.2, and then I give a channel option, which is the channel that is coming from is the PyTorch channel. And then after that, it's going to take a while. And then after that, you, you want to activate the environment by using conda activate PyTorch underscore EMB. And this will bring you directly to the PyTorch environment. And then from there, you could use Python, Python and, and then do import Torch. And you should see that working. And also, if you want to install extra packages, for example, I put down two here. Uh, one of the packages is uh, NVIDIA Apex, which allows you to do automatic mixed precision and also the other one is a matplotlib which is very popular um, if you want to do plotting um, so you could install extra packages by using mamba install dash c where the which is giving the channel name so just like that you should be able to um, install pytorch let's say the installation was successful and then you want to test out your pytorch package so the first thing you want to do is to uh, request a gpu node from slurm uh, the command that I use here is um, using s run and then dash and one. I'm asking for one node, one task, and one CPU per task. I'm asking for four gigabyte of memory because I don't need that much. I just want to test out if the PyTorch is working or not. And then the most important thing that is to, I'm asking for one GPU from the V1 repartition for 120 minutes using dash T option here. So dash P here is asking for uh, the node from the V1 repartition. And then here I want a bash shell. Uh, so once this command returns, and then you should be able to use conda activate pytorch env, which is the uh, environment that we built um, with, with the pytorch installed. So when that is up and running, and then at the command prompt, you should be able to type uh, Python. Um, once the, the conda environment is active, you should see this your environment name in parentheses. So once you are in Python, and then you could just do import torch, and then you can run this little function here, and it returns true. That means it is working, and then you should be able, and it is also seeing a CUDA device, which is the GPU. So this should tell you if your PyTorch is working or not. If you already have a PyTorch program, and then you want to run it, uh, one way you can go about doing that is to use the uh, Slurm scheduler to schedule the job. So what I have here is a very simple template to run a PyTorch program. And on top, you will see all the S batch uh, statements. This is just telling Slurm that I'm requesting one node and a node has to come from the partition V100. I'm asking for four GPUs from the uh, V100 node, uh, one of the V100 GPU node, um, and asking for 16 gigabyte of memory. And I want to make sure that uh, I want to create four tasks uh, on that node and, and each CPU per task, uh, CPU per task equal one, that means exclusively one CPU uh, responsible for one task. I'm asking for 10 minutes for uh, testing. So the next two lines are quite important. And then you want to have this line in the Slurm script. And also you want to uh, kind of activate PyTorch ENV, which is the environment that we built. And after that, I do a CD into a uh, variable. Uh, this one should hold the uh, location where the script, where you submit your submit this job script. And then at the end, I use Python mytorch.py. 
and then the option for the program so so just like this you should be able to submit the job into a uh, gpu node and then